So I was having a conversation today in another community contributor's stream chat. It was TommyBoy601. He was streaming this past Friday night, and I tuned in to watch for a little bit. And I got to chatting in his stream chat, as I often do when I pop into other streamers' chats. And I was talking to a player who was telling me that he was having some trouble getting the Delny to work. He thought it was a bit of a mediocre ship. And I asked him some questions about how he was playing it, and then I proceeded to essentially write out my thesis for how Russian destroyers are best played in that stream chat. He read what I had to say, he thanked me for saying it, and told me he would try to implement my advice and see if he found the Delny better. The gist of it was as follows. He was attempting to play the Delny more like a conventional destroyer. He was building it for concealment, trying to utilize the torpedoes, get into the capture circles, and, you know, basically play it sort of like an American destroyer, like, say, a Sumner or a Gearing or Fletcher. Those destroyers are meant to get inside of capture circles. They're meant to hunt down other enemy destroyers and destroy them in close-range knife fights with their high DPM and excellent rate of fire. Now, the Russian destroyers, the Delny, the Tashkent, the Khabarovsk, even the Minsk, to a degree, are sort of like that. They're also gunboats, like the American destroyers. They also have a high rate of fire, and they're very good at taking down other enemy destroyers, but they really can't be played the same way as the Americans for a number of reasons. So here's what I'm going to tell you about the Russian destroyers, and you can take my advice or leave it. This is my play style. It might not be your play style. And other content creators for this game do advise that you play these destroyers differently than I advise. But these are among my favorite destroyers in the game, and this is my favorite way to play them, and I think it's the most effective. So what's my general strategy if I take out the Tashkent, the Delny, or the Khabarovsk? Well, you've seen a little bit of it here in the beginning of this game. Notice I approached the Charlie Cap, but I didn't commit to it. I didn't enter the Charlie Cap. Instead, I stayed just outside of it, and then I opened fire on some battleships and did about 16,000 damage to one of them with a couple fires. I'm doing the same thing once again, and the purpose of this is as follows. I don't want to push the Delny into a capture circle, or the Khabarovsk, or the Tashkent at the very beginning of the game. No, I want to get close to a capture circle, and then as soon as I spot a large capital ship, say a cruiser or a battleship, I want to instantly open fire and start spamming them with high explosive to light fires and deal damage, much like a cruiser would. In fact, that is frankly my primary purpose in the early stages of a game. I'm trying to harass capital ships, trying to get some early damage in, trying to get them to fire back at me. But what I'm also trying to do is get a little bit of intelligence data. I don't spec into concealment on these destroyers. In fact, I'll show you my build. My goal with this Anton Gurin build is not to get concealment at all, but to make the most use out of the skill that I've enclosed with a red box. It's called Sidestep. It's in Gurin's fourth row of skills. What it does is it increases the gun range of the destroyer's main guns and increases incoming enemy fire dispersion. What that means is every time an enemy shoots a salvo at you, their salvo is a little bit more likely to poorly disperse and not hit you. And then I play these Russian destroyers as essentially long-range kiting and agile cruisers. If you've ever watched Hipper, another World of Warships legend CC, then you know that his favorite playstyle is the agile cruiser playstyle, and he loves playing those agile cruisers, gunboating in the open water, kiting away, dodging incoming fire. That is essentially how the Russian DDs, Tashkent, Delny, and Khabarovsk are all meant to be played, as open water, kiting, agile cruisers. And now, 
my goal, as I was saying a little bit earlier when I spawn in, is to get near a cap, to fire at some battleships or cruisers, start harassing them, but also to gather intelligence data. What do I mean by that? Well, obviously, there's only one enemy DD left in this game, that is the Yugamo, and he is now deceased. But my goal when I started this game was to get near this cap and shoot at those battleships and cruisers to get myself spotted. Usually, I find when you do that, other enemy destroyers are likely going to be pushing into the cap if they're around. And when they see you sitting outside the cap, firing your guns like a maniac at their teammates in the open water, they think, oh, here is a potato destroyer. He has no idea what he's doing. I'm going to shoot at him, and I've got teammates around me near this cap, so they're going to shoot at him too. Well, guess what? That's exactly what I want. I want you to shoot at me in your destroyer inside of the cap so I can see where you're at and immediately I'll stop shooting at those battleships and cruisers that I'm harassing and switch my fire to you and I'll kite away while I'm doing that because the Delny is a Russian destroyer which means it gets Russian shell ballistics so every time it fires a salvo these shells exit the barrel at an extremely high velocity and they don't take a very long time to traverse distance relative to other destroyer shells in this game which means they're easy to aim even at their maximum range so the further you get away from enemy ships, the harder it is for them to hit you because you're so fast, you're agile, and you're a relatively small target being a destroyer. Conversely, it's extremely easy for you to hit enemy ships in return. I don't care what class they are. They can be battleships, cruisers, destroyers, whatever. It's easy for you to hit them in return thanks to the excellent Russian shell ballistics. So you just get further away from the enemy, you dodge the incoming fire, and you keep your guns blazing the whole time. You can get into capture circles and take them like a destroyer if necessary. Uh, but you're not going to be the best suited for that. And as a consequence, a lot of people regard this kind of play style as fairly selfish, I think they call it. And, you know, maybe it is. It may not be the best sort of destroyer play style in terms of winning games. If enemy destroyers understand how much of a threat you are in your Russian destroyer, and they build into concealment, and they outspot you, and they decline to get into gunfights with you, then, yeah, it can be pretty difficult to deal with enemy destroyers. But I find most of the time it doesn't happen. And I don't recommend specking into concealment or trying to play this like a conventional destroyer, like an American destroyer, where you would enter a cap very quickly, very early on in a game, try to get it, and counter any enemy destroyers that enter the cap with you. Even though the Delny, I've just said it's difficult to hit at long range because it's a small target, it's actually a massive target compared to other destroyers. And in close range knife fights, things like American or even British destroyers are going to have the edge. Their shells are very floaty, they've probably got a faster reload than you, and they can pump out the damage real quick. Whereas you've got a slightly slower reload, and you're a massive target. So you want to get as far away from them as possible. You want it... You want it to be so that they have a hard time hitting you, where you have an easy time hitting them in return. In short, you essentially just want to play these like kiting, agile cruisers. And the reason I have this game playing in the background is because I think this game illustrates this concept so perfectly. What have we been doing for the past couple minutes? Well, we've been shooting at this enemy Des Moines. Now, if you're familiar with the Des Moines, you know it's a legendary tier American cruiser. It's a heavy cruiser with a light cruiser rate of fire. Its guns reload in like four seconds, and they do an absolutely outrageous amount of damage. Plus, it's got a 40 second radar that reaches out to 9.9 .9 kilometers. So it's a massive threat to any destroyer, but not necessarily to the Delny the Khabarovsk, or the Tashkent. These destroyers can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Des Moines 
in a one versus one duel and have absolutely no problem killing the Des Moines. You can see that that Des Moines actually gave up on shooting at us for a little bit, and he essentially showed us his broadside, not caring about the damage we were inflicting to it, before he realized that we were taking away a lot of his HP. And now he is actually trying to shoot back at us in return. And as you can see, thanks to our maneuvering and dodging and varying our speed and course, well, he's having a very, very difficult time hitting us in return. We are not having a difficult time at all hitting him. When we miss, it's because of our own poor aim, or it's because of RNG making our shell dispersion a little bit less accurate than we would like. But no problems hitting the Des Moines. The only thing is, of course, if you are fighting 1v1 with a cruiser that's got a lot of health, sometimes it can take a long time to whittle them down to nothing, but it can absolutely be done. And I think this right here, more than anything, this one versus one duel with this Des Moines, should show you just how effective this kind of playstyle is in terms of dealing damage and in terms of even sinking enemy ships in some cases, because we are going to sink this Des Moines, and really, he doesn't have much of a chance against us. Now you can say I didn't necessarily play this game well from an overall strategic perspective. I did not once enter a capture circle. I didn't even really defend a capture circle. I've just been farming damage this entire time. But sometimes farming damage with your guns is what you need to do. That's the role of a cruiser, and that is the role of the Soviet mini-cruisers. That's essentially what they are. The Tashkent, Delny, Khabarovsk, they're all tiny little cruisers without a citadel. And that's how, she, how they should be played, as tiny, little, agile, damage-dealing cruisers with no citadels. They absolutely excel at playing this kind of role. They excel at it so much that they can do it better than actual cruisers, as you've seen there. We just took out that Des Moines <laughs> in a one versus one duel. He really didn't stand all that much of a chance, and that is thanks to the speed, the maneuverability, and the long range of these guns. Utilize those three things when you're playing the Delny, or the Tashkent, and the Kabrask. Get the idea that these are conventional destroyers out of your head. They are not conventional destroyers, and if you're going to play them as conventional destroyers by building into concealment, trying to utilize the torpedoes, any of that kind of thing, in my opinion, you're better off just taking a different destroyer, because there are other destroyers that are good at that kind of thing. These Russian destroyers are not that. They are agile little cruisers. Hopefully that helps. If so, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.